I personally was not really interested in like playing a lot with other brass bands because I wanted to play with hip hop artists. We feel like we are that, but it just so happens that we have like a live band instead of a freaking DJ. <laughs> What are we here to say? What are we here to show the people? For me, it's always been like diversity because I was tired of going to school and being like, just with like all guys, all white guys. And I was like, how can I, when I start a band, how can I make it different? And how can I really bring out the things that are there, but people just aren't taking advantage of it. My mom, she was so awesome. She would show me all these um, PBS things of like musicians and composers, and she'd send me all these tapes and stuff, all these links. And when I was in college, she saw, she sent me this link of this black composer. He was mixed. He was um, half black, half white. And to me, that was like a breaking point. I was like, I can't be studying all white people for the rest of my life, or there, it, or really, it just seemed to be like a disconnect. Like, like something happened and I was like, wow, I love classical music, but I'm not represented in it. I wanted to represent people of color in classical music. I got this idea to start the hip hop brass band where the instrumentalists will also rap. This movement has been started from New Orleans brass bands, you know, from jazz, from, uh, from back in the day. That's where the root is. A really good trumpet sound will make your pores raise. If somebody you really like just touches you and you're like, ooh. I think trombone is like, like a truck just coming at you and just hitting you down. I feel like saxophone is kind of like, a cool person walking down the street. In reality, you just need like a little The sound that came out of the horn was just so mellow and so round. That's what the tube I think sounds like. It gives you a big hug. Max is our um, mascot, cause she's pitch black too. Right, Max, you're pitch black? Give me a kiss, give me a kiss. No kiss? No kiss, Max? <laughs> Bye, Max. I'm from the Upper East Side, from 86th Street and 2nd. It's mostly uh, upper middle class white people. I moved to Brooklyn five years ago. Going to the Upper East Side now these days, even though like I got a lot of benefits, you know, it's weird being a black person living in that building. Like people don't think that you live there. People think that you're like cleaning or you're a nanny. It's weird, and it's funny because. You've been, I like, I like, I live here. I've been living here for like, you know, I grew up here. I was, you know, I was born here. So 20 something years and people still think you're like about to like clean someone's apartment. So I try to stay away from those kind of vibes as much as possible. <laughs> uh, 
It's probably one of the hardest cities to be a musician in because there's so many musicians. Everybody wants to make it, right? Everybody, <clears throat> everybody's playing a show. It's just really, it's oversaturated, but that, that makes it beautiful. That makes it like special because there's so many other places that people live and they can't go out tonight and go see music, you know? <laughs> That's New York City. I feel like people, I don't know, I wanna go to, to Jay-Z and ask him, have you made it, you know? And I'm sure he's gonna say no. Art doesn't allow you to say, okay, well, I did that. There's no like Olympics to be like, well, I've won a gold medal, I could stop now. But to me, I would say making it would be like having, spreading the word of your music to a lot of people and having them appreciate it to like a mass amount of people. It's a B flat. I don't know a ton of women tour players in New York City, so it's kind of a weird thing. So it all started like in sixth grade. My teacher really was saying that a lot of girls don't play the tuba, right? So that year, about six girls play the tuba. He, he did a great job of like kind of saying that everyone could play any instrument. It doesn't matter. But I know I heard stories like down south, a lot of band directors still to this day don't allow their girls to play the tuba. And I think it's people that are still living in a very traditional way and have a traditional idea about the weight and the size of the tuba. For me, it's really cool that I play it because I'm black, I'm a woman, and I feel that it's important for anyone, especially kids of any race, of any age, to see me playing the tuba. It's helpful, I think, to have people, to force people in the world to say pitch black, because a lot of people have said the word pitch black in very negative ways, um, whether it's about skin color, or race, or whatever. Blackness is seen as a scary thing. And I wanted to, to like almost reassociate people and society with them having to say that name, having to say it, having to say pitch black, having to, to say the word black and, and have it be something that they feel good about. Pitch black here, we tear the roof off. Pitch black, bringing a rock, it's like who does. Making a rock, see when them trombones blow. So far with that two below. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 